Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage a small business in Google Sheets. So we're going to create a dashboard, which will allow us to basically control everything in our business. So the financials and inventory and so on. All we need is to have a Gmail account. We go here on top, Google Apps, and we enter the Google Drive space. In Google Drive, I can go to new and create Google Sheets. I have already three, one, two, and three, dashboard, store one, and store two. And we can already open dashboard by double clicking. And we have it here. As you can see, it is not that different from an Excel file, right? So you have the formula bar. I have the cells. Let's see them better like view grid lines. And you can see there are the cells. There are the different sheets that I can select and I can operate in. Then I can put text. I can format it in different sizes, in different, also I can put, I don't know, different styles like bold, normal, italic. I can put numbers, I can put formulas like sum, for example, and so forth. So it works exactly like an Excel file, but the main advantage of using Google Sheets is the possibility to share. So if I go here on top, share options, I can select many options. I can, for example, enter the names or the email addresses of the people I want to share the file with, or I can create a shareable link that I can then share with the people and whoever has the link will be able to edit, comment or view the file. It depends on what I want to do. In this case, anybody who has the link can actually edit. So if I copy the link and I put it in another, in another browser, I go here, for example, and press OK. I enter the same file and as you can see, there will be Gabriele, which is the user in the other browser, but also me, which in this case, I'm going to be an anonymous user because I'm not logged in with any Gmail account, as you can see, no. And we are totally independent. I can type in whatever I want. I can go, for example, here, I can type 10 and this is stored live. So if I go back to the other browser, you can see here anonymous leopard, which is basically the anonymous user using the sheets. And then if I go to inventory store, I can see that anonymous leopard is typing 10 and I can also remove it live, but still the other user is active. So this is a way we can both operate. And these lockers are protection that I set with my main account. So if I try, for example, to go back in the other user, in readme tab and I try to amend something like I want to double click, delete something. I cannot given the protection settings that I decided in the main one, the owner of the file. Okay. So let's close it and we continue with the main one. Let's imagine that we have a network of stores. So we have store one and store two. We have two stores selling clothes. So these are the inventories. This is the one of even the story one. And this is the store too. We have a code for every product. We have different products like shoes, sneakers, pants, jeans, shirts, skirts, belts, hats, and so on. Every product obviously fits one gender, man or woman. We have two categories, economy and high quality. And depending on the uh, category, we will have different prices. We have then the date in which the article, so the product was sold. Or if there is no date and the status is not set on sold, it can be still available or not available. Let's imagine that, for example, the supplier has not yet came, come back to us with the, with the order. No, if I go to expenses instead, I can find, for example, different kind of expenses. I have the store rent to pay, the salaries, the training, the products, the transportation, advertising cost, website, online marketing and so forth. So also by date. Let's imagine that our business was born the 1st of May 2019, but also keep in mind that these numbers are not that far from reality, but still they can vary a lot according to, you know, the different variables affecting the business. So the geographical location, the kind of business, the kind of products and so on. So these are just to give you an example, which is not that far from reality, but just to give you an example. So what I want to do is to have this dashboard in which I can basically select either a period. So first week, second week, third week, fourth week, or the whole month and 
all the statistics are updated accordingly and the same happens if I select a different store I select store 1 store 2 or I can select everything and in this case I will see obviously different statistics so first week for example we will see more expenses than later because we had to initiate our business if I go to the second week I will see that the expenses are more moderated but still our revenues are starting to grow if I go forward then I see the third week I can also focus on store one or store two and as you can see all the statistics are going to change yeah so let's go and check now how we can make it if I go in settings for example the way I can create the pie here is very easy I always create this settings tab where I basically store all of the list for example of the data validation so in dashboard I can have a data validation data validation which stands for a list so a2 a6 is going to be this list here values and in dashboard I can select one of these values right the same for store the same for uh, for example men and woman in the other dashboard and so on and what I did here is to basically do use some if and if in order to select the right data so with some if for example in this case if I find a not available product then I include in some and furthermore depending on which selection I have here so if I have all for example I need to sum either both inventory store one and inventory store two if i have store one i only focus in store one and so on so i need to input all of these uh, variables inside right here for the chart the time series chart it's a bit more complicated the first thing i did is to take the all range of cells until down with all the data all the dates and what i do is basically have two different columns revenues and expenses and again I use some if and if in order to get the right values so for example if I go here uh, I take firstly the date so if I select either all month or first week because this date belongs to the first week then I show the date right otherwise I don't show it and the first thing I check with the revenues if the date is shown then I do something otherwise I show nothing and this is very important because if I go to the dashboard and I try for example to put first week let's put second week settings you can see that everything is disappeared here and this allows us to show only these dates here because otherwise we would have something like you see there are far more dates far more the range is far bigger so in that in the case I show zeros for example I would have something like I don't know zero then something like this then zero again so it's not what we want now let's see how to interact with the other stores i have another dashboard store one in which basically i have the same situation i have a dashboard i have the inventory and the settings then settings we can hide the sheet we don't need it but we still use it for the calculation in this case everything we see here in the inventory is editable so I can actually put I don't know a new product to be not available for example and if I go to the dashboard the main one inventory one I can see that it is automatically reflected in the main one how is it possible because basically what I use here is this function which is called the import range where I put the link of the other file and the range I want to import from so I'm importing inventory store AG from store one and you can see here that I am importing basically this range and whatever I do here is automatically reflected here and the powerful of this function is that basically I can use the entries here to do whatever I want so I am basing all the statistics of this dashboard on something that I am importing from store one and this is very very important because in this way just imagine that I give store one this file to a stakeholder of mine who is managing store one but I am the manager of all the stores and I want to be able to collect all of the inputs from all the stores and then collect everything into the same dashboard so this is basically what I am doing with this dashboard and the same for store two again I have inventory store where I store all of the values let's say I want to put not available here on top if 
I go to dashboard inventory store 2 I will see immediately not available like live okay and I can go back and put salt again I can also I don't know build a pivot I can do all the analysis that I want but the core point uh, of this function in this uh, import range in this case is that I can concatenate different files all in once. What I have here then for the individual stories, for example, the revenues per day. So I give the possibility to my employees to basically select the week, do their analysis according to the inventory that I have. And then I also send them some announcements. For example, here, this announcement is coming from import range dashboard B24 into the main file. So if I go to dashboard, dashboard here, I go down, there is an announcement and I can actually, I don't know, type, for example, new. And if I go to store one, dashboard or store two, I will see new appearing, as you can see. So this is a way to link many Excel files together, many Google Sheets together, and to easily manage the our network of small business within the small business thank you